welcome everyone in this video i will uh, show you how we uh, how you will uh, use multi party okay so first first need you have to do uh, you have to configure your party so if i go over here and you will see in my party i have these two already configured server okay so if i go to the party so you need party and party gen okay if i click over here 10.128. and 0 0.4 okay this is my windows uh, ip address so uh, we didn't able to connect to that particular ip address okay but still i am showing uh, or i i'll do one thing okay uh, we will understand okay uh, inst instead of this ip address this is your ip address okay and so how i configure this and this ip address so that's i'm showing in this video so in session we have do that uh, in appearance uh, i will change uh, the particular size okay this is my bold or i will use bold and italic and my font size is for uh, 14 and okay and in data uh, if your username is uh, Ubuntu, so you need to write Ubuntu. If your username is CentOS, so you have to use CentOS or EC2, whatever. So in my case, it's uh, Ubuntu. And uh, in data, we have done in SSH auth, we have to select uh, the PPK file. So this is my PPK file. And I will say open. And again, what I'll do instead of uh, open, I'll go to the session and i will give oh, the same name 10.128.0.4 and i will click save okay so here you will able to see uh, this particular ip address so uh, this you need to configure in party configuration okay my configuration is done now if i uh, close uh, this and again what i'll do i'll open the m party and if i go to the session so you will see there is a four a fourth also configure over here so just uh, we just need to double click on that so we will able to directly log in okay uh, this is my windows machine so we are uh, however we are not able to connect to that okay uh, because in windows we have to connect with rdp connection and this uh, these two machines are my ssh uh, login ssh uh, 22 port run on that so this is how uh, you will uh, access to uh, uh, partygen and if you want to add so you can al also add folder or i will give name uh, big data hadu subscribe to my channel as well uh, if you like the video it's completely free okay in big data hadoop you can add server from here and i will give my server name okay uh, from default i will select and i just need to click on okay so in that a particular uh, it will come okay so uh, we will select another one i will delete one okay uh, we will delete that so yes and in big data what i'll do add server and from here i will add a server to okay okay uh, so if i double click on that so it's asking for uh, login so i will type a burn two and hit enter so we will be able to log in and if i type lsb underscore release hyphen a so it will also show you with distribution we are using so we are using ubuntu thanks for watching make sure make sure make sure to subscribe to my channel if it's been too long journey it's been two to three years and we are not uh, reached to 1k subscriber so make sure to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching share this video if you like it